I really started back when I was about 19 years old, working for my father. And uh, every once in a while, we would be sent to Greystone Park uh, to pick up a body of a patient up there for burial. And you would always go to the main office, and they would give you a key for the uh, morgue and a patient to help you with the body. And one day, with somebody roughly my age, about 19, and on the way to the morgue, he was telling me that all the horror stories of what was going on at the hospital. So when I got back and took care of the body, uh, I told my mom about it. And I said to her, uh, you know, if I could ever be in a position where I could help those people, I'm going to. We had raised a facility in East Orange, where when we walked in, the smell of urine was all over the place, in the elevators. Most of the patients' rooms, the bathrooms did not work. Uh, where the food was served, it was open screen windows. We went in there during the summer in August of uh, 2004. And um, there was flies all over the kitchen. And what I really felt good about was um, one day after I left being governor, we officially got th that place closed down. In, in the one facility we went in in January of uh, 15, outside was probably minus five and we found minus two in the facility. And that was shut, I'd say within three hours. So I got a friend of mine to in the system to vouch for me. So we went in at night at about eight and it was a uh, touch and go as to whether they were gonna accept me. But we assured them I would be on a government program by tomorrow. So it took me in for the night. So the facility had no beds. You slept on the floor. Um, only the people who worked there um, had pillows. And as a result of me being there, uh, we got uh, that institution beds, and now people who go there for uh, shelter can sleep in a warm bed with uh, pillows and some nice blankets. You know, you find that when we do these things, it means something. There's people who are never going to be able to really thank you or even vote for you or give you a contribution. Everybody has the right, not a privilege, to get as best care as humanly possible.